junk. I'm sorry, I realized as I was getting started that it was hot. Um, this is where we take junk that was given to us or that we buy for cheap and we turn it into new stuff. Today we are working with two pieces that were dropped off on our back porch by some amazing people. I, it's been so long, I don't know. We recently cleaned out the basement at the shop and so I have to deal with my junk. So that's going to be the next Waste Not Wednesday for like the next two months because if I don't do something with it, it's going to get tossed. So we have a picture frame that had a... Uh, Matt in it. I'm going to show you a picture of what it looked like before because I did a little prep. I know you're shocked that I prepped for Waste Not Wednesday. I know. We, we actually prepped. But there was a little prep involved. Um, and this was just a framed picture frame, kind of hotel art, not very great. Zeb, cute this is little a mirror. frame here. This is a mirror. And we're going to be doing decoupage paper two different ways. So first, we are going to decoupage over the top of glass to create artwork. I may or may not be putting this in my bathroom. I haven't decided. Next, tell them about your project. So this is a mirror and I sanded it so that the decoupage comes through and we're gonna be doing the decoupage on the back side. He tried to be random. I so tried to be random. It looks randomish. You can kind of see around the edges and things where there's some spots. I might need to go do some more so you can I actually see some. I think we need the magic some. eraser a little. Maybe. We'll see what can come off and what won't. But so, you can see on the back side here where I sanded much better. So we're gonna have a little peekaboo decoupage coming through. I definitely think Magic Eraser is necessary, 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 because there's a lot of squiggle situation that we need to take care of. That's actually just in the dust, but. Oh, okay. Well, I saw it through this part. Okay. Anyways, it's chill. Um, if you're new to our channel, make sure you, if you love DIYs that you give us a thumbs up and subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell so you never miss a live. Um, the papers that we're using are brand new, designed by us, um, and you can buy them at JamieRayVintage.com. They are pre-order right now, so if you've already ordered them, they should be shipping out to you next week. We also have over 100 retailers that carry our decoupage paper, stencils, and stencil brushes. So if you go to JRV Wholesale, you can see if a retailer near you is carrying them. I always recommend contacting the, the retailer first to make sure they carry the product that you want, whether it's a stencil or a paper, because we carry hundreds of products. They don't all carry every single one. So disclaimer there. So most of the squiggles are gone now. I sanded it with 80 grit sandpaper. And then I followed it up with uh, 220 grit sandpaper to try to smooth that out even more. All right, I'm gonna bring you guys up close to see what it looked like before. Um, it actually looks better on picture than it did in real life. But there you go. It looked pretty <laughs> much like cheap motel art. That's what it was. That's, that's exactly what it was. I, I had this um, for sale in my shop for $10 as a project piece. Nobody wanted it, so that tells you how awesome so it is. So now but we're gonna great. make it awesome. Let me see what that looks like now that you've wiped the dust off. Well, most of the squiggles were in the dust, so. I think you need more. Let me grab your magic eraser because you need more to come through. There. Let me, you I, start, I know what magic uh, are. you want to heat gun yours at all? No. Because I feel like I need to sand gun. more. Like I didn't get, I thought I got down to the silver no. on the edges, but I didn't. Like this isn't going to show. See what kind of work you can do with that. All right, magic eraser. Oh, it's like this is really heavy. basically thousand grit sandpaper. So on this one, just so you know, I just painted the glass with a DIY's bead board. No prep, just DIY bead board. Because when you are putting decoupage paper, which this is one of our prints, they are thin. So it's best if you paint the background so that way it gives you a more solid coverage. I see somebody said LOL, so I looked down to make sure that I did not have my pants unzipped. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go <laughs> run real quick because I'm not through the silver. It had like this bronzy orange cover on not, there. It's taking it off. And it's not through the silver yet. Give me that real quick. It's taking the brown off, but not the silvery. Well, let me see what it looks like now. I'm just gonna go sand it. Like, you'll be okay for two minutes. <laughs> that he, 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 he is like, his, he's annoyed at me for second guessing him last. Just, just closing that. Just like the, <laughs> we'll talk about it later. Just kidding. Anyway, all right, I'm getting here, I'm painting the frame. That's giving me a mal de ojo, evil eye. Um, I don't know what he plans on doing with this, so I'm just gonna go white. So this, the thing I love about DIY paint is you can just paint anything. So I just painted glass earlier. Now I'm painting this plastic resin frame situation and it will totally stick to this as well. The paint is be bored and we carry that at JamieRayVintage.com too. Let me pull up comments. 
Okay, hold on. Let's see what we got here going. Some of these emojis weren't working. All right, let's see. Just see if there's any questions. All right, everybody's just saying hello. Hello, everybody. So I don't know if any of you guys have been doing spring cleaning, but I've been doing spring shopping. And so we've had to spring clean at the shop. And one of my favorite things to do when I'm cleaning is just project while I clean. Cause I don't like to touch things a million times. Meaning like, I don't want to organize it and put it somewhere and then move it and then touch. Cause every time you move something, it takes time. So a lot of times I paint my way out, which is what we're doing today. And I find a bunch of projects and I just knock them out. So if you have a project room or a garage, that's super messy. Um, I suggest trying to find things that you want to do like things too. Like let's say everything you want to paint white or everything you want to paint green or whatever, get that all together and just get started painting. And while one thing is drying, you can work on the next project, which is what we're doing here. And if your weather's good, you can get your spray gun out and you can really knock out some projects. But I just feel like it's such a waste of time when you're organizing to just move it, then move it again, then move it in a year. Like if you don't get to it, then sometimes you have to get rid of your junk. Mariah and Ty are not here yet. They, they are leaving today. They should be here tomorrow. Oh, cobwebs, that's classy. Um, and we're super excited. If you don't know who Mariah and Ty are, that is my husband's brother and his wife. They're coming up here to help spearhead a wholesale line of wood products through their company, which is Ray 360 that they are making for Jamie Ray Vintage. So we're super excited about that. And Mariah is also my retail director, so she handles all of our wholesalers that carry our products and she approves them and she does a lot of great things. And then on Thursday, she moderates our Thursday lives. So we're super excited to have them close. They have three little boys. My kids have not had cousins that are close to their age that they are close to live by them ever. Um, we do have some extended second cousins, but they're super excited to have their first cousins here and they're gonna go to school together. It's gonna be great. Family is awesome. We'll be here tomorrow. I told Mariah to give me her shopping list because I feel like when you move out of state, the thing you need the most is to come into your new place and have food. Because you're gonna have milk, you're gonna have bread, all the things that are a pain in the butt to pack up. This morning she said Ty was going to get ice so they could put stuff in their ice chest. I was like, just donate the food yet, lady. Do not haul that crap. And then I will just go to Costco and buy groceries. This is weird. It's like they cut off the end of it. But once I paint it, I don't think we'll notice. Ooh, Diane's going to the shop to shop today. Hopefully Diane, by the time you get there, Jean is uh, not going crazy because Jean has been working very diligently going through. We got a big pallet yesterday. And so we're putting new stuff in the shop, getting ready for the stay at home shopping network. Um, lots and lots of like cool wood items and things. Some stuff for my picker um, in Tennessee. And that is gonna be in the shop for tomorrow's video. We'll go live in the shop because we alternate the house and the shop. So lots of great stuff there. Question, does the Crackalier IOD stamp give the paint crackle look of milk paint? Um, it does, it's not three-dimensional the way uh, you get with paint, right? So like, think of just a flat crackle as opposed to a crackle that goes down into the paint. So one of the things I like to do when you're using the Crackalure stamp is I paint a base coat, right? Then I paint a top coat of paint in a contrasting color. I distress it so that way the base coat comes through and then I take the crackle stamp and I use it in the base coat and go over the top coat so that way it looks like the base coat is cracking through the top coat if that makes sense so like if I was doing that stamp on this I'd paint this white and then I'd paint it let's say apothecary I distress back so the white comes through and then over the top of everything I would use that crackalure stamp I'd roll it on the white paint and do it in various places so it looks like the white paint is cracking through the apothecary paint and that's going to give you the most natural crackle effect because you've got that it's like tricking the eye essentially like you know but if somebody's like not super close they wouldn't know so that is a great way to use that stamp maybe um i don't think i have do we have the crackle stamp here i don't think, so. I don't think we do if i have the crackle the stamp crackle at home, 
All right, so it's gonna be what it's gonna be. I, my sandpaper is worn out and... And we're live. Yes. We gotta get rolling. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta get this project so going. So my suggestion, Deb, would be then because you don't have a lot coming through, you need to go bright. So what about the purple wallpaper one? I was seeking that one or I thought it would be fun to try the butterfly one. Or the butterfly one. Either one will be good. Is that named all of these deco polish papers? I put them, I put like French names on them Which is to make them sound fancy, but I was like, oh man, now I don't remember what they're called. <laughs> and you're always giving IOD a hard time because they don't I know, know who they are. And I then know. look at you. I'm going to eat crow today. So if you just go to January Vintage, you can find the deco polish papers on there, and then you can find all the fancy French names. And we'll show you every single paper today. There, there's a whole collection. There's a lot of them. So. We won't use every paper. So it's easy, it's pretty easy to find if you just go to the collection, there's 15 of them there. Oh, Deb has five pieces of paint, furniture to paint with white swan. She's going to be busy. Okay, so now you can see kind of my randomness pattern. And it is coming through the mirror a little better. You can see kind of where it aged it. Uh, well, you're just getting reflection of the house. Well, Look at the awesome roof. <laughs> it'll, sh it'll show. Let's move this over, though, and we'll let the camera show what you're doing because I'm just painting something white. Not very exciting. Okay. Hold on for me. Oh, anyway, is that good? I think that'll work. All right, we'll move the camera over towards you. We're gonna start decoupaging. I brought an entire pint of we'll liquid right potato. Now. Okay, there we go. Show, show the papers. We showed them the other night, but if you ducked out early, you missed it because it was at the end, very end of our long live video, Saturday Night Thrift Hall. So, this is sheep in the field. Oop. Trying not to get paint on them and show you. That's kind of hard to see. Best to go to the website. Really nice high res images on the website. This is Jamie's favorite. We got some angels. That's the one I'm going to be using. She's using this one. <clears throat> Well, I think that's my favorite because it reminds me a lot of the mosaics and things that we saw in France. Yeah. It's very like when you, If you went into an old church, they were all just open. You could just go in them and like sit in the chapel. Um, lots of art like that, stained glass style. This one's a fun one. La Mami. It's the granny floral, but in French. <laughs> La Mami. We should have given them some. Are you thinking I should use this bright colored one? Yeah, that one. You could use that one. That would be good. Whichever you pick, what you want. Got some fun flowers there. I just feel like the purple is a repeating pattern, so it'll bring some continuity yeah. to the piece. So we've got a damask. It comes in this this uh, teal color, and I don't know where the uh, sage green one is. We've got like a. Oh, it's there. Just keep going. Is it down in here? Yeah. Okay, then we've got just kind of like an old grain sack signage type one. If you, we're gonna do a lot more nautical things, but this is the one that made the cut for the first round because we were, we were limited on how much we could do on the very first run of it. But you got a map with like a fun border around it. Leslie says she doesn't normally love granny florals, but the, the what did she say? Hold on. And then this is the, uh, the the sage green. Where did it go? Where did, oh, she said, but the music score makes it. Is there music on the granny florals? I, I thought know. it was just writing. It's writing. And this is one of Jamie's favorites. It's got like a castle in the background. And then she found this old. It's my favorite because old, she was, it was like an old pencil charcoal drawing. It's my favorite because she was topless and I made her modest with flowers. <laughs> Lots of manipulation. So these are one of a kind, like we took old art that we licensed and recreated them and manipulated them. So you're, unless somebody directly copies them, which is illegal, uh, these you're not gonna find these anywhere else. We did not just take somebody else's designs and say, hey, these are ours, we're gonna wholesale them. If you've been waiting for some myself. good music note decoupage, this is like handwritten. Someone was composing something. Donna's all about granny floral. I knew that about you, Donna. One of, one, this is one of both of our favorites here. We call it the chicken gang. But it's actually not. It's Le Poulet, Poulet or something. 
Chicken or hen in French? It's basically uh, chicken in masculine and uh, feminine, and feminine form, form of the language. We should probably like consult with somebody from France. Do you like to nah, the French? Google gave me good info. The next set of papers are going to have Swedish names because we've been practicing our Swedish. Well, I have been. And then this is just if you want like some big flowers. Yeah, Zeb watercolored these flowers digitally. Careful, you're going to get white paint on the end. They're and then this is like an old style wallpaper. Just a repeating pattern on the wallpaper. This is the one I think I'm going to do. One of my hairs got into this. What? Not a hair. I know. It's, well, it's definitely not yours. Let's see. And then another one of our favorites. Bright, fun. We've got some butterflies going on. Yes, these with papers. With like a boho rug around the edge. These papers do ship to Canada. Um, we are still negotiating working through the shipping amount so if you like go to order them and you're like that amount seems off email customer care at jamiereventures.com we will help you out okay so purple flowers it is i'm going to start decoupaging because that's the video all right but any minute now jamie's been painting a frame. i thought you might have started decoupaging and then showed them that while they were drying but nah because we'll go quick we gotta do do, we'll be doing yours while these are drying all right I should have grabbed the, I should have used this brush for the decoupage and that brush. I'm using the uh, Smooth Talker and Zeb's got the Insider and the Insider would have been a lot better for these details. You, should have used, you have the wrong brush. It's here. all right. I can make any brush do. Okay. So on this, I'm just going to apply some of the uh, medium, which we're using DIY liquid patina crystal clear which you can also use sweet pickens top coat or big top with this thin and um, I think I'm just going to rip some small pieces kind of give it like an organic feel I would and just go over the back because it's gonna be just splotching through your kind of you want to do the whole thing yeah I mean just you can rip them out if you want to there's a couple sheets yeah could just do that. I mean, I guess if you wanted to save it, you could do that. Well, I don't have, like, have I got edges and that, stuff. Right? Yeah, we have three sheets of this, so. All right, I'm going to stop being bossy. In our samples. It's okay. I'm used to it. <laughs> I'm good at ignoring. I'm used to it, too. I'm real good at ignoring you. <laughs> uh, I seem to remember you bossing me around a little bit when we were working at the farmhouse. Yeah, just a little. All right, I've got the spray painted here, so I'm going to move that over to the side. Um, do you mind if I just like put this on the edge and then scoot it over? So if you don't want your decoupage to get super wrinkly, thin layers of the medium is what you want on there. And then you, you place that down how you want it. So I'm just covering the whole area where this is going to go on. All right, Zeb, hold on just a second. We're, we're sliding. We're sliding? We're sliding. Just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm just going to place this down over that spot and smooth it out with my fingers i'm gonna let that dry for just a little bit and then i'll come back over with my second coat and hopefully not reactivate the bottom coat too much and that'll help keep the wrinkles out <laughs> tom says he's used to it too happy wife happy wife all right i'm gonna put this in here can we scoot your situation over yeah all right it's okay we gotta share share the space. We have different areas of expertise. For working on household projects, I defer to his expertise. Oh, show me. I am gonna need the heat pad though. That's still one. Did you tell him you sanded it with the orbital? Yeah. So I sanded. Muriatic acid. I sanded it. You can use muriatic acid to do this to take the backing off of the mirror. Um, we've done that a few times. I don't like it. It feels sketch. Like the acid is real. It will burn you. So don't. You know, if you're not real comfortable with that, don't. <laughs> One time we used The sander was, works. It, it like mixed with something that was on our concrete and we almost passed out. Yeah, it had like a chemical reaction with something that probably, we have a video, probably paint or sealer or something. We have a video where we used an old IOD transfer on a mirror. You can find like the whole video if you look it up. And I think you just look like January vintage mirror. If you search that on YouTube, that video would probably pop up. There you will see us using. 
So you don't necessarily have to do paint to solidify your design or whatever behind it, but I just feel like you get a better look if you've got paint behind your decoupage paper. Do you have scissors? Um, they might be upstairs. Do you have a razor blade from when we did wallpaper? Um, yeah, upstairs. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab them. Where would the razor blade be? Um, in Odilia's room or by my desk. It might be kicked out because we cleaned before we ended the video yesterday. If you guys haven't watched, I don't know if Jamie already talked about this while I was out sanding, but if you haven't watched, we, uh, we did some really cool wallpaper, some, some vinyl removable wallpaper on Odilia's room yesterday from Rocky Mountain Decal. And then we, uh, we got a new rug in there for, we've got a part two, probably will be out Friday with the finishing touches because there was just some things uh, you know, the design process, we were like, ah, oh, we don't love that, we don't love this, we want to change that, so we got to change some stuff up. Well, the problem is that I'm, I love this house so much, so I'm really picky about like what comes in it. She, you know, she was never too picky about design until, like, we moved in, and then she's like, nope, can't be like that. <laughs> yep, this, is, this is my dream home. And when you put your blood, sweat, and tears into something, I feel like it just makes it that much more. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm just laying this down. I'm going to cut this off right along here so I can repurpose it on the side because this frame is just slightly larger than my paper. And if you don't want an organic look, you could obviously cut the paper. You don't have to rip it. And I have never done this before, so. Oh, look at you just winging it. It just seemed to make sense. Now that's cut to fit. I need like a... What, uh, oops, it was a little wet still. Do we have an IOD brayer here? That I don't know, friend. Not that I can like... Yeah, it's fine. The wrinkles will be okay if we have a little bit. This is almost exact... This is like exactly what I need it to be. Look where the crease is. Perfect. That's hilarious. My life never works out that way, but today... Today we're winning. Today it's my day, man. I should go play the lottery, but it's not legal here in Utah. I have zero clue if this is actually going to look good. So you guys are seeing the creative process live. What Zeth's doing, we have totally done before. Yeah. Well, we did it with transfers. I don't know that we've decoupaged it. Uh, we decoupaged. Uh, oh, yeah. Actually, what we have done it with, like, napkins, I think. I think it's nice about decoupage paper versus napkins is they're much bigger and you don't have to separate them. I hate separating napkins. Okay. Can I have the liquid patina? Yep. So I wonder if you wanted like a grayed out effect on top, if you could use like old and gray as a liquid patina, because it is liquid patina, it's just a gray one. Yeah, you could. We might have to play We're with that. We're gonna have that. to play with that next time. Okay, I'm gonna pop it up so they can see your faces. Okay. I think they can see what both were just, doing. Just angle it up slow. Just ever so slightly. Oops, sorry. All, right, all you had to do was touch the back end. I know that I just had to touch the back end, but. But you didn't. <laughs> I'm not good at moving the camera. We have established this. All right, I will wait till you're finished so we don't have to. Here, you can use this. Well, I need your brush. Oh. Uh, I just need it for a second though. Can you share? Yes. Seb is the oldest of six. Ironically, you would think me being, even though I do have sisters, I wasn't raised with them because I'm way like 15 years younger than them. Consequently, neither one of us are actually very good at sharing. No. Just because there were six people in my family, I was the oldest, I didn't share. I was gonna get to that. <laughs> I'm actually better at sharing though. Like I share, like I share all the kind of stuff with my uh, girls. I don't care, whatever, no big deal. Zeb doesn't even like to share a meal, even though he knows he's not gonna finish it. I'm like, dude, if you are still hungry, I will order you more food. Did you go? Because then I gotta wait. Mouth? Then I gotta wait for more food to come back out, and that's way too long to sit in a restaurant. Oh, I missed a little. Cut We're way there. back. <laughs> Can you guys hear okay? <laughs> My, I, you know, my mom always told me the store is full of it, and store I use that line all the time. My kids complain, like, "Listen, I know how to order more on Amazon, so just share what you have." Zeb jokes that we have five only children because they are kind of spoiled. We do. Kind of, we do. All right. So they're they're all equally important. 
thing about decoupage, you can also, you can like, so I have heard you can decoupage the bottom, let it dry completely, and, and then decoupage over the top and then affix it with an iron. Mm -hmm. Is it called the iron method? There's a lot of different ways to do decoupage. So I like it to look when you're getting it. started, just have fun. If you've like, never done it before, it's just fun. I like distress and wrinkles on my, my decor, but not on my face. This is totally the wrong brush for app applying the, <laughs> the okay liquid patina. I mean, it's okay, but I like a nice wide flat brush. Just slop it on there. It doesn't have to be neat. Kind of it does. It's my project. <laughs> no, but I need it over here. So I can do this part. All right. You guys. Our dryer isn't working, so we called RC Willie, right? And they're like, they will come in a week to a week and a half, they will come to repair it. We have eight people in our house. We cannot, it's already been like three or four days, the dryer's not been functioning well. Like we cannot wait that long, so that's going to see if he can fix it. If he can't fix it, I told him, just going to have to buy a new set, and then we'll either sell this one, we'll give it to somebody, whatever, because I'm still going to make them fix it, so it will be functioning, but I can't wait a week and a half. They said a week and a half to two weeks to get yeah. a repair person out here. I was like, this is why I never buy extended warranties because generally Zev can fix it before they even get here, which happened every single time. So the next one, I am not buying an extended warranty because that's dumb. I'm not waiting a week and a half to have dryer. And it's winter time. It's not like I'm going to go outside and dry my laundry out there. All right. Let me just slot this in the middle here because you're going to need it back. I can see the look on your face. Yeah, it's coming. I need it. Well, I can just go get it, find another brush. No, 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 no. We don't actually have any more unless you want to clean it. Uh, they, I think there's a couple upstairs in... The girls were painting Valentine's In Ziploc bags, bags, yeah. Yeah, you have to clean. There you go. See how that's kind of... I need a paper towel, though. Here you go. Oh, you're pretty. I got to clean off the edge. And I know, it's a first world problem that I won't have my dryer for a week and a half, but... When you live in a, a household with eight people in it, though, it's it really stacks up. Yeah, and we're already behind anyways, let's be honest. We're still moving in. I can deal with life as long as everything's functioning at max capacity. If, some, if these stop working, then my life starts stacking up. Okay, now we're gonna fill in the design in the middle. Yep, this is really sticky. Uh, yeah, you've got like one chance. The one and done situation? <laughs> yeah. Oh, if I do this, I could line that up actually, right? No, I'm just gonna... no, so, oh, Deb, could you help me? Yes. I need you to pull the other side tight. Pull it without ripping it. Now go over your way a little. Tell me when it's centered. Like, oh, pull it up. You got, you're, you're pulling too much. Okay. There we okay, go. Okay, go back your way. All right. Commit. Okay, I'm going to commit, but I need this to be... You might have to smooth it. Well, it's going to be old and wrinkly. There we go. That's good. Ooh, that's pretty. Me likey. That's going in the bathroom? I don't know where it's going. I said it could go in the bathroom. It could also be for sale. I don't know. Can I have <laughs> that brush yeah. so I can go over the top? It's good to craft with friends because, you know, sometimes you need four hands. Sometimes it requires four hands. It's good to wallpaper with Zeb because he's tall. Do not be cheap with your decoupage medium. You will be sad. And you can also come back after the fact and add more like liquid patina or whatever for more water resistance. This is a top coat. So once you've got it down the way you want it, you don't necessarily need to re top coat over your decoupage picture. 
I need like a step stool for crafting. A step stool just for the. They're short and I can't. <laughs> And then you're going back around that with um, Golden Ticket, right? Around the frame? Yes, I am. I'm just, this yeah. is just the middle. So while the middle is drying. I've just got a corner down here. And then I'm going to start covering over the top of mine. Jamie already did hers. I was trying for minimum you. wrinkling, but I can see with the time constraints of this video, we're just going to have to go for it. It's okay because when it dries, a lot of the wrinkles come out. And you're going to sand it and make it look old, and then you're going to paint behind it. So you got to, you're already at 1036, so you got 30 minutes to pull that thing together. Well, we were late. We were four minutes late. Oh, okay. So you have... Or five minutes late. Something like that. You have 30 minutes then. And that, if your calculation is correct, which it usually is, 30 minutes. Already, this looks amazing. It's looking very. It went. It, cool. it just went from motel. dated motel art to really dated antique art. <laughs> you know what, though? I think it's gonna look like an old weathered canvas when you're done. If it wrinkles a little bit. If it does, what I think it's gonna do. That. I'm not sure it's gonna do because I've never done it before. To be honest. So the question remains. Okay, so this isn't quite dry, but I'm gonna go back over it anyway because. I didn't know I was going to sand this. <laughs> I didn't know that was part of it. I don't know where Golden Ticket is, but I do have copper. So I guess that. Um, the Golden Ticket's in there. Look on the sides. I've been, we exceeded our uh, one middle drawer, so like all the stuff's in all the different cupboards. Well, this cupboard's smaller than our last craft cupboard. In just a sec, I'm going to flip this over and we'll see what we can see through the, uh, the mirror. I'm going to use this little brush. It'll be faster a lot. All right. Copper patina it is. Pennies from heaven. This thing is going the distance, man. Because we are, we are. It's getting lower. Scraping the bottom of the barrel. It's only been a year and a half of the same tub. We're going to, well, we'll probably start going through it a bunch because we're, Copper and gold accents are both like really, really awesome right now for a lot of multiple different styles of decor. So we're gonna be using it. When it's hot, gotta have it. And this is already like a aged gold underneath. So it's a really great base for this. I think one coat will do it. Let me check comments. There's probably hundreds of comments that we've missed. If you have a question, ask it again right now. <laughs> Use a better brush. Yeah, we have we have other brushes. This is just what was on hand this morning when we were in a hurry to get the video going. Sometimes the best brush, my friend, is what's clean. <laughs> and we're like, how do you choose which brush to use? Well, which one's clean? Like in my mind, I know which ones are good. To well, use it, it, it's reminiscent of back when you used to paint furniture and you painted everything with one brush for like four years because that's True, what we, we could afford and what, what you had. We, I mean, we were super poor. For four years, I used the same brush. I wish I still had it. That has a Is it easier it. to do your job with specialty brushes? Yes. Absolutely. Do you have to have it to get the task done? No. You can make do. I'm using an artist brush on this, but that's just because I feel like sometimes okay. an artist brush is easier to get in all the details. All right, so I got coverage on all of those. We're done with the liquid patina. We didn't use, I mean, even with Jamie completely covering that picture over there, um, and going thick with it, we hardly used any of this liquid patina. We did not paint the mirror before we put the decoupage paper, but we're gonna dry it, and yep. then we're gonna paint behind it, and so some of the paint will come wherever the decoupage didn't cover. The mirror decoupage went directly on to the glass. Yes. So we used, this was paint, then decoupage paper over at this picture. I'm just gonna use my... And if you scroll back to the beginning of the video, you can see what it looked like before because yeah. I showed you a picture of that. I'm just going to use my hand to smooth out some of these wrinkles that got a Donna little bigger. Donna wants you to flip that thing over. She Donna, I'm going to flip it over in Donna just a second. Painting herself. She and her cats are waiting with bated breath. Are you not going to dry it first? Well, I'm going to, yeah, here, I'll dry it. I'm going to go high because you don't want to dry it out too fast or else it'll it's just bubbly. pop off. 
Because it has a built-in top coat, so it will bubble if you get But this will really speed the drying process up. And I have some paper that goes over the edges. That's going to be back behind the backer, so I'm not going to worry about that. You could also use a product called Rub and Buff for this, but that honestly is a pain in the butt. It's dusty and, it's and it like powders everywhere. Like this is thirty dollars for a container, but if you figure what's well, in one of those little tubes, this container's way bigger. Oh, welcome Carrie to channel membership. The first extra channel live will be next Tuesday yes. at ten a.m. The first of February. We're already into February twenty twenty one. Can you guys believe it? We're like a weekend already. President's Day weekend. We were gonna go out of town, but Zeb's brother and his wife are moving, so we are staying in town because we know that there will be needs. Plus, we have a lot going on right now behind the scenes. Lots of fun stuff coming up for this next year, so. Camera's far away. Talk loud. Oh, sorry. That's all I have to say. You, you went into story mode. I'm either yelling or I'm too quiet. Yeah, one of the two. There's no in-between. I'm not a good regulator of my voice. Zeb can tell you that because he edits our videos. That's all right, I got you. You got me? Yeah. Thank you. So I like to not get full coverage because then you can see like the dark details underneath and then you get like an instant age without having to work too hard. So just a quick disclaimer, let your decoupage paper just dry. I am only heat gunning this right now because of the live video so we can show you before the video ends. It's taking way too long. Like it is not necessarily the, uh, the technique. The preferred method. Yeah. Okay, you guys ready? Let's see what we can see. Oh, I'm gonna I have like to bring it. it up close. Can you even see any of yeah, that? Yeah, you can. And when we paint behind it, it'll make it pop even more. Hold on, I'm coming in real close. We're coming in. All right, you might need to scoot your head. Sorry. It's hard to see. We'll get a good picture of it, but can you see just the subtle purple coming through there? So what I think we might do later off camera is throw some... I may have needed to sand it just a little bit more, but this is going to work for this. We're committed now. Yeah, I'm glad we went with that print because it's really consistent. And if you have something with a bunch of different stuff, I feel like it would look very disjointed. So that just kind of ties it all together. There's not a ton of purple coming through, but what is coming through is a very similar pattern. Okay, I'm just gonna go white over the back of this to- Yeah, that would be fine. To give it kind of like a, it's gonna, it's gonna really make it solid instead of- the Translucent. Yeah, what, see-through, I don't know. I could, I get opaque, opaque is the one you can't see through, Yeah, translucent right? is <laughs> the one you can't see through. We always say the wrong thing. Yeah. And people are good. They always let us know when we say the wrong thing because we hear about it in comments. <laughs> <laughs> Last week we called uh, we called something houndstooth and it was not houndstooth, it was tweed. I still don't know. I was like, it's a pattern. <laughs> it's, this, it's this V pattern that's repeating. <laughs> Apparently not it sure looks like correct. some sort of tooth. If you're not sure if we're correct, just Google it because Google knows most of the things. So if you want your decoupage, it's thin enough. It's on an 18 pound paper. If you, so some of this color that's underneath will come through. So if you're decoupaging a dresser or something and it's like a dark brown or a gray color or even like navies or something like that or black, that's going to affect the, uh, the look of your transfer versus doing like a lighter, brighter color. It will change the tone of it a little bit. If you do like a dark, it's going to make it darker and moodier. If it's light, then it's going to make those colors brighter and lighter. So it depends on what you're going for. All right, I'm going to use that heat gun so I can continue to work on this frame while my decoupage dries. Um, we need to, oh, you already painted that other frame white. Look at you go. Dude, I am on top of my situation over here. What I lack in neatness, I make up in speed. I'll take it. Again, you don't necessarily want to use a heat gun in your life, so this is how we're doing our how we're doing our life today. I 
I really want this to dry because I want to sand this paper a little bit, but I, it really has to be dry, dry, dry before you do that. Otherwise, it just peels. So we'll see. See if we can get to that point. See if we can get to that point on one video. This is why having multiple projects is good because the frame is drying while I'm over here doing this. Do you need? Do we need a second coat on that frame? Uh, no, I don't think so. We'll just distress it and touch it up a few places. Like a, so like a wet distress? Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. You now. can wet distress it if you want to. It's still a little wet itself. Yeah, All right, so there. wet distress. We got one coat of white paint on this. Wet distress, I'm just gonna like, cause it's still a little damp, cause we just painted it. I'm just gonna lightly brush over the top of all this detail and not try to get too much down in the middle. Maybe just a little bit to make those brush strokes that you can see pop out a little, but I'll come show you guys close so you can see the detail on it in just a sec. You can kind of see I'm just kind of lightly holding it and just brushing over the top. If I wanted a very solid copper color, one of my tricks is to paint underneath with orange. So if I painted underneath this with like Summer Crush, and then I let that dry completely and I came over the top of it with this copper, you literally would probably get full coverage in one coat. In my case, I want a lot of that dark undertones to peek through to make it look like an aged old piece, so it works for me. But I know sometimes people just want a really solid copper, so that helps. A little pro tip there. Are we going to be waxing this at all? Because we might need to do a little bit more paint. Down yeah, on the here. flat surfaces. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was saying. We'll wet distress it, then dry it, and then just on the flat surfaces where it's a little bit streaky, then we'll throw in some more paint there. There's no point in painting two coats on everything if we're just going to wipe it back. We like to call it a coat and a half. Oh gosh, you got white on this. Coat and a half. Oh, sorry. That's all right. We're going to have to wash my mirror because you had white on the drop <laughs> And I totally set the mirror down. That's but all right. Front of the mirror will be fine. It's okay because I'm going to use white wax over this to make it look oxidized. So a little white paint. Okay, let me get this a little bit dry and then I'll show you guys the mirror again. Oh, and I'll show you that in just a sec. And we so you can see what the white distress wax. did on it close up. Let's say you are in a hurry. You got like 83,000 things going and you decide to uh, heat gun your stuff, keep it moving. You don't want to burn it or break the glass because you got the glass too hot. Now, if you only have 81,000 things going, you probably have time, but 82,000, that's okay. Yeah, 82,000 is the limit. Then you break out the heat gun and go. I feel like there's numbers. We have like go-to numbers that we say all the time. <laughs> well, 82,000 is just like, just enough to be really bogus. <laughs> you know what I love? A lot of people when they're watching us on Waste Not Wednesday are working on their projects and then I go on the Jamie Ray Vintage Facebook group and people will show us what they were doing right along with us. So if you guys are working on a project with us, whether you're watching the replay or you're watching us live, comment with what project you guys are working on. The goal's turning out really good. Yeah, I love it. Well, that's copper. Oh, that's pennies from heaven, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, this is copper, but it's good. It's good Are you going to wet distress it at all, or are no, you going to leave it? No, what I did is I just didn't do full coverage. You can't really wet distress this, because the top coat in, you'd have to use sandpaper. So, so I don't know I'm that just... I'm going to be able to sand this, but I think with the white on there, like, it's not going to matter. You're, okay. you're not wanting to sand this one, are you? Oh, um, I mean, sometimes I like to do it. That's okay. We'll do what we can do. I can always sand it later off camera. I'm just second coating the spray to give it more of a solid look. Oops. Well, maybe we'll just, maybe we'll just hit this with some gold. Uh, just, just come back here, wipe it with that paper towel that's wet right there. And then we'll just go back over with some white paint. Oh, well, I was just gonna say, we could just hit the highlights with some copper. That's what I'm doing. Okay, this is almost dry enough. I think we can get it back in the frame, but we gotta paint that other frame just a little bit. Okay, so I did get a little bit of wrinkling because, you know, everything was rushed. That's okay, it's gonna look good. 
Let me show you this frame so you can kind of see the details popping out now that it's not just all white. We wet to stress that back through. Mel decoupage in the back in front of mirrors. Um, Sandy's painting vases and silver trays. Sorry, Jamie. It's all right, Sandy. I know there's some places that tarnished silver don't sell. I don't live in one of those places. It's very popular. Watch your face. Okay. I feel like it's very regional. I feel like Texas, for whatever reason, y'all in Texas don't appreciate the tarnished silver. I like a shiny. They don't want the shiny. Okay. How to do this? Hang on. Or where does Tom live? Does he live in our? Where do your parents live? Alabama? No, that's... Do you live in Alabama? Tom. No. Louisiana? Where do you live, Tom? Where do you live? Are you still on here? Tom bought one of our new cement molds. So we've been loading up new stuff onto the JRV Home website. We just got the small cement molds back in stock for the first time in months. They're the more popular size. I keep waiting to see what he's doing with his molds that he's buying. Because he wanted to do... We used, we used cement in one of them. Um, and actually did it, but uh, Tom does everything better. It had some tricky situations, so I wanted to see how he worked that out for his. It did work. We sent that thing to my mom for Mother's Day. We are not using white swan. We are using beadboard. beadboard. It's very similar. Very white similar. swan's a little warmer. Beadboard's a little cooler. Both great whites. Great eh, white. Not sharks. Great white. <laughs> I love that our mind was at the same place with that. Okay. Wait for it. And we're lifting. And we're lifting. We're making magic over here. All right, I need that heat gun. Okay. And this had a couple of little spacers that someone had made in the mirror here. Let's see if I can even get them in. Oh, do you have the spacers? Yeah. Oh, somebody had a question about our white is white. Uh, that, it depends on their coloring and lighting. Beadboard actually appears brighter white, um, but it pulled blue. So like our white is white is probably white swan, but because of the blue hue in beadboard, just is very bright. Like our walls are all painted pure white, and we went with beadboard on all of our cabinetry. Um, because it just blends well with Sherwin Williams. Uh, what did I say? Pure white. Yeah. That's what it is. We have big overhangs on our farmhouse, house, and so I just wanted it really bright because that, that kind of filters the sunlight that comes out because of the overhangs. All right, spaces are in. If you get too close to this uh, copper patina, it will bubble, which I actually like. missed the whole like. side on the frame right here. I missed the whole side of the frame. Honestly, all the top. Okay, so this is just like a press board backer. I did miss the whole side. Well, I got one coat. I just missed the second coat. Okay. All right. Anybody else have to lean over and you always get the line of paint or water right there? Short girl problems. It's even worse when I'm pregnant. But she's not. But I'm not. Disclaimer. disclaimer not pregnant. I should say. Not <laughs> pregnant. Can't talk about those things or hint at them. Jack is the baby. He's six years old now and it's going to stay that way. You're not going to be like Chip Gaines. Nope. So we're watching the first episode of Fixer Up and he's talking to Joanna and Chip's like, baby, five kids isn't that many. You gotta come visit me more. He's like trying to pick up on her and also have more kids. So I was like, do not talk to a tired woman and try to turn her on by talking about having more babies. <laughs> and I'm sure while well, they're redoing a new network, I'm sure Joanna is tired. And if she's not, then she's superwoman. Which she might be. Right after I had Jack, I, I painted my first piece of furniture when he was like two days old. We were driving through the neighborhood and there was a yard well, sale. Well, first piece after you had had him. 
Yeah, Let's just claim that. Old. Not your first piece ever. Okay, sorry. My first piece <laughs> after I've had him. Uh, he's two days old. We're driving around. I happen to see a yard sale. My mom says, do not stop there. And I was like, I'm just, I'm just going to look. And she's like, okay, fine. But don't lift it. Well, didn't listen. Lifted it, put it in the car. Don't paint it. You need to rest. An hour later. What are you doing in the garage, Jamie Lane? Um, uh, painting this piece of furniture. Painting? When it's not like in a hurry and I don't have any, like it's not a custom job or I don't have a specific look when I'm just painting, it's super relaxing to me and I love it, especially when I'm anxious because it's something I feel like I can control. Like I know if I take something really ugly and I put paint on it, I can transform it. And it's just relaxing to me. So okay. sometimes when I'm stressed out, I paint stuff. This is going to be the semi-grand reveal because I have to clean the mirror. This one is so good. Okay, let me clean the mirror real quick and then I'll give you guys a close-up view. The purple's coming through pretty subtle, but it is a cool, cool uh, floral pattern back so there. So I had there. a thought. What is your thought? What if, dry this and let's decoupage some of that floral and the insect. And then you just raise your blade. I can try it. I feel like we need more floral. Okay, let me go get a razor blade. So it looks more intentional. I mean, if it looks horrible, then we'll just pretend like it never happened and drop it off at the first floor. You never know until you try. Step back in time says she loves it. Color Caboose says, love that frame. So people ask us a lot, why don't you just tape off? Because I'm going to take 30 seconds here and save myself 45 minutes of taping and having to scrape anyway because the paint got under the tape. So they asked if Joanna Gaines color green is going to be a new trend on cabinets. I would say so because she used it. I saw it and I also saw it on, if you watch Homework on Joanna's new network, those are our friends, Andy and Candice. Yeah. We've known them for years. They, they live here in Utah. They green too. They have green in their kitchen too. Green and gold together. Green and gold, man. But that's actually been trending for a while in what I like to refer, what's that word? Not yuppie. What's the word for young millennials that wear tight pants and peg them? Hipster. Hipster. It's been kind of hipster, like mid-century vibe for a while, and now it's working its way into farmhouse. So I could see it. I could see it coming. I actually like that shade of green. It's why we created the color aviary, which came out like a year and a half ago, because we knew that that trend was coming. So if you love those green colors, aviary is a great green. We made it to look like the moss that grows on an old rock in a farmhouse. Because Debbie's like, what is this color? I was like, you know, when you're at a barn and it's been wet and the moss starts growing, that's aviary green. And she's like, all right. <laughs> did we ever find scissors? Uh, did not look. There's probably some in the knife drawer, if they're anywhere. Odelia says she loves sage green. Where do you find their network? Um, it's streaming on Discovery, Discovery Plus. Plus right now. It's like six dollars for a month of watching. It's kind of like trial, though. it's kind of like Netflix. They have a ton of different channels, not just Discovery Plus. This is so good. All right, I'm going to show it to you guys in a minute. I'm just wanting it to be really dry. Would I paint my cabinets green? Yeah. Would I never paint them green? Not, I don't know. I, I would say not yet. Or I not, have, not in this house. Let's let let me show you though. You guys know I like green, right? I painted this door like a year ago. They're, they're not gonna hear you way over there talking to the show them. I gotta open the door. So I do like to have a touch of green. So in my bathroom. Just take the whole thing. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna show them. See? It's not the same shade, obviously, it's more farmhousey. But for fun, in the inside of my bathroom door, I have that green color. And I was actually thinking I might do that in the bathrooms upstairs, like black, serious on one side, fun on the back, uh, kind of like a mullet, but with paint colors. So the, the mullet part is the green. <laughs> I'm sorry if I sound a little coffee. Zeb and I started running yesterday. <laughs> it was cold yesterday. It was like 30 and degrees and we're like, let's go running. Brought up, do you guys see how cool this is? I'm gonna flip this around. Here, in just a sec. Give me a sec. Oh gosh, I'll, this is heavy. If you wait a sec, I'll hold it close for them. Okay, well, I gotta dry this side. 
Okay. <laughs> And the reason I didn't just take it all out and do the glass underneath is because this is gallery framed in the back. So it's already got the wire, it's got the paper, and I don't want to get rid of that. So there we go. So, uh, so I'm just... Carolyn loves that green. That's pantry door, by the way, uh, by Sweet Pickens. Okay, so I just got this, the medium down on here, the liquid patina. And I'm just like pushing the paper down where I want it to be in here. And then I'm going to carefully cut it out. I'm hoping it looks like that gaudy velvet from the 70s, you know, where they would like inset okay, it. Okay, cutting it out is not going to work. I'm going to have to rip it out with my fingers. Do you want a butter knife? Nope. It's, it's, the paper's wet, so it's just oh, okay. tearing. It's okay. It'll add to the distressed look. It's four ninety nine with commercial six ninety or four ninety nine with six ninety nine without. I don't know what Zeb bought. I think he paid for the no commercials. Oh yeah, I went no commercials for two dollars. No commercials all day. We also pay so we can watch Star Trek Discovery on CBS. We watch very few shows. I'm very picky. I like like wholesome, uplifting. I don't like. Although Star Trek Discovery is borderline it's, it's, unwholesome or uplifting. Yeah, Star Trek <laughs> Discovery is pushing it for me. And actually the new Enterprise is a little risky. The so one, I the one from like 2002. I appreciate Joe's network because it is like very inclusive and has a lot of different people on it, but it's not risque. And we're running because Zeb watched Chip's special on him running. So now Zeb's like, I want to run. Okay. I've been meaning to run anyway, and then he's like, I would, he's like, trained for a marathon in four months. I'm like, oh, I can, I can commit to four months. Oh, well, Harrington's on here. He says, hey, Dad. Hey, what's up, Harrington? Kai wants to know hints about ventures in 2021. Okay, let's see. Zeb's brother and sister are moving up here, so we are designing a retail and a wholesale line of paper, not paper, wood products. We've yep. got the decoupage line. We are working with a manufacturer that we will have our newly designed stencil brushes. Hopefully by the end of the week, we'll have our first prototypes to see. Um, I'm working on a few signature lines that I won't say what they are until I have a contract. Um, we are actively looking for a piece of commercial property, including uh, propositioning people who don't actually have their property for sale. We have a bomb realtor and she is a great detective, so we're working on that. So there might be another uh, farmhouse reno type situation, but it won't be our house. So I think that'll be a little it'll be less the, special. It'll be our shop. Yeah, it'll be for the shop. And then um, working with some network situations, that's all I'm gonna say. So pray for us, we've got a really- uh, We got a lot going on right now, besides, besides having to unbox yeah. all the boxes and organize and put everything and away. Parents. We've, we've got a, a really great Zoom call finalizing some uh, details for what could be a great opportunity for us. So we're super excited about that. And we get to hang out with you guys. Like that's the best part. That's like highlight of 2021. Like that's a deal breaker. If any part of my life is like, hey, you can't make YouTube anymore. I'd be like, listen, these peeps were with me when I was spray painting lamps in my kitchen. <laughs> and when I had the big Coke bottle glasses and when sometimes I forgot to wear a bra on camera, you know, you guys were here, so I'm going to still be here. What's the end up on the story on Harrington's car? He got out. It is alive. <laughs> we did. We actually just we had... sold his old car that he drove when he was at home. So we're currently looking for a new car um, for Adelia to learn how to drive on because we won't let her drive our cars. Yeah, Here's where we're at she's, not, she's not learning how to drive in my truck or Jamie's. Or my SUV. That's, you know, back in the day when we drove beaters, it would have been one thing, but not anymore. So we're buying a car for her to get to learn on with her permit, and then that will be her car. Um, and last time we were talking about it, they said, don't make choices based off of Harrington's driving. So we're so not. We're not. We we're actually taking your advice, and a, we're going to let Odilia make her own mistakes. We found a good reasonably priced car that I'm not embarrassed to ride in. So <laughs> it's it's a good one and it's comfortable. So I would I would never be embarrassed. Actually I would drive in anything, let's be honest. I I I did do trash trash piles because yeah. I like yeah, to. Yeah you do. So <laughs> I'm not that pretentious. She's like Zeb, is that a is that a French provincial leg poking out of that dumpster over there? Pull over, pull over, let's go look. 
I dug, I dug through trash in France with my friend Kathy. Yep, I'm doing Kathy. All right, guys, uh, you if you're waiting for Harrington, we are not talking about that on YouTube. 243 better be an apartment number. Oh, that's upside down. <laughs> Deb said we all knew Jamie and Zed when. You can say you know us now. It's all the same. Okay, so check out that. Copper frame, and then that's just a single sheet of $6 decoupage paper. Not quite dry, um, but... Oh, that's good. It's, it's looking awesome. That's good. That's that gonna, is the least purchased paper, and it is my favorite. This was a free frame that someone put on the back porch. Were we to buy this frame at the thrift store, I probably would have spent $10 on that frame, but it's awesome, right? <laughs> Um, they're liking it. So I'm gonna bring you up close so you can kind of see what I've been doing. Just kind of working right sense. here. Like I am kind of obsessed with this because this is making that more It really pulls the purple that's in the mirror because mm -hmm. I, I, I didn't I have a feeling that it might. I didn't so have gonna... the time to sand it enough. If you've got like an old mirror or you really, if you've got a half hour to really sand it down, So what I'm doing is because there's cracks in here, when you sand it, it kind of they, takes down the color. And then oh, they can see you. Cold. Okay, good. Yeah. Because I want this to look like an old oil painting, right? Like, like I actually got lots of money and I bought it like it's from an old church. So originally, like, so when we make decoupage paper, we take images that we license, right? and then we manipulate them. So this one was actually two separate pieces that we lined up, they're mosaics. We, we completely changed every single color in it because we made it a little bit more modern. It was more like jewel tones and we made it more pink and hot pinkish. Yes. Then I layered on a, like a paper behind it and then we aged the whole thing. So a lot of this can be done digitally, but I'm not super great at digital, but I will work on it till I get what I want. It's okay, I'm, I'm happy you think. Deb, Deb went to school for graphic design. So what I'm also doing now is I'm pulling through some of the white paint that's underneath. Because when canvas is aged, they crackle and some of the gesso, gesso, whatever. Gesso. gesso what? Gesso. Gesso comes through. That's whatever that is. That's stuff. Need more medium. So if I were going to sell this, because we always get asked, if I were going to sell this, I would not sell this for less than a hundred dollars easy. And I know that sounds crazy, but think of the size and the impact this is going to make, and it's one of a kind. And it's not like just no one else has that picture. frame with that combination of print. <laughs> so when you guys are creating stuff. Remember that you are an artist, whether you draw, whether it's mixed media like this, you're the artist and you need to make sure you're getting paid for your work. Okay. And I'm not even sure I'm selling this. If this works where I want it, I'm probably going to keep it. It might live in the bathroom up above the tub. If it doesn't live in the bathroom, I'm going to do this again on another one until I keep finding the right look together. Okay. Oh, don't use a knife to open your wax cap, guys. Use a paint key. <laughs> Disclaimer. Disclaimer. Oh, Julia says, pray I don't get an accident. I know, we told, so here's the things. I'll tell you what, what we're looking at. We gotta put our deposit down. We're looking at a uh, Jeep Commander, like seat seven, which is great for when we go out of town, because then our nannies can use it with the kids. Um, but I know that Zeb, after she drives it a year, if she does what she, we've asked her to do, then we'll buy her something different. And I know that Zeb has plans for that commander. So we're buying a dealer car. Well, that's a camping jeep. Zeb, will pro Zeb and Harrington will have fun with that commander. It has a Hemi yeah. in it, and it's got BF Goodrich mud all-terrains on it. They're just all-terrains. Oh, just all-terrains? Not muds. Not muds, sorry. But anyways, yeah, so. <laughs> There's a big difference. Well, not for me. I don't know. We had muds before, didn't we? Um, Can we have one on our old Pathfinder back in the day? Yep. Zeb loves cars. I love cars I and tires. I will stay in a car for the rest of my life. 
I mean, I like nice cars. I like to tell like. people that uh, walking into a dealership is like my Achilles heel because I'm like, yeah, where do you, where do I sign? Where do I sign? You want my money? Here, I like this car. Take my money. It actually works out well because I, I put off that I'm annoyed, I don't want to be here vibe, so they usually get right to it because I don't do the dance. Like, what are you going to charge me, man? Are you going to find it? I'm going to try to peel this one after because the other ones weren't quite wet enough and I think if I put this on it'll peel off real easy right in that crevice. So if you want it to stay shiny the white wax is going to dull it a little bit uh, but you can kind of buff it back right away and just keep it down in the cracks and then usually I'll come back over it and highlight with the copper patina over the wax which technically you are not supposed to do but I do it all the time. So it's off-label use. And sometimes I'll bring the wax down onto the piece, right? Because if this was aging in an old museum, the age would not stop at the frame. So don't be afraid to get a little white wax or rear decoupage is just gonna make it better. Oh, uh, well welcome the Painted Huckleberry to the channel membership. Uh, Lolly says, I'm brutal in a car dealership. My husband isn't allowed to say anything. He's like, Zeb, take my money. We, I mean, I'm not brutal. Like I'm not like the art of negotiating. That's not where I come in. I just come in to be like, um, I'm hungry. I want to go home. So I'm not going to play the dance. So just get to it and then we'll move on. That's. What's the bottom line? What's okay, the bottom that line? works for me. Let's, Let's out go. the door. Okay, let me. Don't dink me around because I'm not here. And I don't mind like paying for stuff. Like I'm in business. I'm not going to cheat somebody. But I come in knowing exactly what I want and what it's worth, so. I'll, you guys, the close-up's coming if you've been patiently waiting. I appreciate it. Caitlin is the negotiator. Caitlin took my mom, got her a cute new car. So it's been, it's been car season over here. Zeb's looking into the new uh, hybrids for Ford, has their truck hybrids, but we're going to wait so that way they've got a year under their belt, see how they prefer uh, my truck's only two years old. It still runs real good. And yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. That's the thing about it. But Zeb doesn't ask for a lot of things, so I don't mind obliging when he wants a new vehicle or new shoes. Because <laughs> we drove a lot of really crappy cars for a lot of years. You need something, Odelia? Oh, you have testing. Oh, Odelia's testing. I forgot. So I've got to take her. It's 11.13. So I'll let you show Hold on. This. She can wait a couple more minutes. Okay. You have to be She's... there at 11.30? Okay. She's, she's fine. We're five minutes away. I was wondering why she got all dressed up. She has to test every week. Two weeks. Or every two weeks to play high school sports. Make sure she doesn't have the situation. All right, you guys are going to get the uh, not quite washed and still drying close up view. And then I'll, I'll stop right here so you can show them shiny shiny gold less shiny gold i am going to dry brush gold back over the top all right so shiny copper patina right? and then she did the uh pennies from heaven so shiny pennies from heaven and then she white waxed and now she's breaking the rules because wax should be last but i think it'll be all right it's a decor piece you're not going to be like scrubbing this down all the time and then you bring this near close so you can it's still a little streaky because the liquid patina is drying but you can see the, uh, the floral behind the mirror and then those spots up there. And once that's dry, I'll probably distress that and make that look a little more organic, like it's been there a long time. And it is missing uh, the top here. Yeah, well, so that'll be the bottom of the piece. Yeah. Because somebody cut it out. We'll get good pictures, put them in community on Instagram and Facebook. So if you guys follow us there, you can see them. Two very different looks and applications. One amazing product, JRV Papers Decoupage. Um, hit up jamierayvintage.com or go to JRV Wholesale and see if there's a retailer near you. Yeah, support carries, those these, retailers. Support those retailers. Small business is everything, um, and it means a lot to us. I actually was watching a video the other day of one of my retailers, and her little girls were opening up our stencils, and they were so excited, and it made me cry because I love that what we do not only supports our little family, but it supports hundreds of retailers all over the U.S., Germany, and Australia, 
and we couldn't do it without you guys. So thanks for being here. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Love you guys. Happy decoupaging. I love this. It is cool.